Hey Gemini, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of April general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So to my fellow Geminians, some of rising and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over our energy, the song that I got was Sleeping in My Bed by Drew Hill. Now, the original members of Drew Hill, you had a Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, and a Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, a Taurus, some who rise in Venus and a visual. This also can apply to time frames. Now, the only one out of that time frame that has passed already is Aquarius season. That was January, February. So that could be significant to a time frame where something happened. Um, I also got Pisces because when I was doing a pre-show, I got some Pisces time frame energy. Also, as far as like a breakup or finding out something. Also, Aries, okay? We are currently in Aries season right now. Something may have been discovered in Aries season, okay? Pisces season is February, March, and Aries season, of course, is March, April time frame. So, I'm going to tell you what I got. Um... First and foremost, I heard there's a new sheriff in town. Let's see. I, I want you guys to see this visually so you can follow me as, you know, what I'm picking up here. You got the Eight of Cups walking away from things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling. It's very interesting also because he's staring up at this moon. And as I'm doing this reading, it's April 7th. And the new moon is tomorrow, April 8th, okay? And that's why I'm also not on camera today because I've been doing a lot of cleaning. I'm really, really big on my new moon rituals and meditations and things like that. And new moon and full moon. And with the new moon, it's ushering in new energy, right? So I always do a lot of cleaning. So I have on my walk around the house <laughs> bleached up shirts and things like that. So I'm cleaning and things like that. So you guys will see me on camera again next um, Sunday. I'll be doing, uh, of course, I'll still be doing the readings throughout the week. But, you know, I'm usually on camera for the love readings on Sunday. So you'll see me again Sunday, this coming up Sunday. But, um, you know, I always tell you guys with the new and full moons, three days before, during, and three days after, that veil is thin. If you look at the clouds, it's very thin. You can see that moon, which means something is being revealed. The moon talks about things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. Something's being revealed, and, and, and it could be involving a third party, okay? Because you do have the Eight of Cups, but of the Eight of Cups, one, two, three are spilt over. Back of the deck, you have the um, Page of Wands, and you have this man here, and he's in between two birds, okay? That's, that's a hint. So something right there. And then you got Three of Cups here. And again, you guys know I do not put cards in any position. In fact, I'm going to change cards from the top to bottom and do quite a bit of shuffling even before we get into your reading. But here's the thing. With this Three of Cups, we can't see who this person is. We can't see this person's face. Could definitely be involving a Aries, because I, I was mentioning Aries. Or something that happened in Aries season. Every time I see people predominantly dressed in red, I don't know why, but just intuitively, I always think about Aries. And you have this person in a red cloak. So either something came out or will come out before Aries season wraps up, or something involving Aries. I know this is cuss, but it could be involving Aries. Um, back in the deck, you have the King of Swords. Some of you guys are making a decision to cut somebody off. Because I'm going to say again, you may end up finding out about some type of third party situation. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, remember we have the three of cups, and at the very back, you have a king of swords. But over his head, there's one, two, three butterflies right over his head. So it's like finding something out like somebody may have found out something was happening right under their nose, right in their face, and there's going to be some type of response to it. Now, if you're completely single, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting with this it could be very well that. You don't even know someone that you've been talking to, flirting with, texting, um, communicating with in some way on social media, something like that. They may have a person already and you didn't know about this person. This person could be seeing those texts or found those texts or something like that. Something, something's going to come about. And I'm not trying to create some type of a messy narrative. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up. You guys know I'm a Gemini sun, Gemini Mercury, not Mercury, but Gemini on um, Venus. So I'm not trying to claim anything negative for us. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up because hell, life happens. Whether you know about it or not, I feel like for a lot of y'all, you may not know that somebody that you're starting a relationship with as far as getting to know this person or something like that, if you're completely single, um, they may already be in something. They may already be in something. So let me change the cards from the top to the bottom. We'll do the same with your clarifying deck. And I do want to let you guys know before I get to talking and forget that I will be doing a new moon discount reading sale tomorrow from 8 a.m. until midnight. I'll leave the reminder notification here on YouTube in the community section as well as on my Instagram. If you don't have my Instagram information, everything is in the description box below, okay? So currently at the bottom of the deck, we have three of wands, ships waiting for your ships to come in. But 
lately I've been really noticing how the ship is not straight up right. It's kind of leaning forward. So somebody's relationship may be on a bit of a slant because they're finding out about something that may be going on behind their back because there's two wands behind this person's back. It definitely could be involved in a fire sign specifically, very strong Aries. Or finding something out in Aries season that was going on behind your back because Aries season does start in March. You have one, two, three. Three is March. Okay. So let's see. Yep. Somebody's going to say, let's see. And then you got an eye. Somebody's going to find something out. Again, I'm telling you, around the time of this new moon, that moon phase right over the eyes, realizing that. And hell, to be honest with you, some of you guys may realize that you're one of many. Or somebody's playing a field. Because there are many fish. You know how they say there's plenty of fish in the sea? Somebody's playing a field. If you're dealing with a water sign, I do feel like this person is keeping their options open. Some of you all may discover, okay? No, okay. It, it went in there. That's the card that was showing. The hermit is seeking out a secret with a secret clarity. Discovering that someone is a bit of a snake. Also, this could be someone who was born in the year of the snake. Getting that also. So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the lovers. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifies for those cards. Yeah, somebody's being manipulative. Okay, now you do have the magician that is your energy, and then also Virgo. We just seen Virgo with the um hermit energy, so there definitely could be a Virgo involved. Let me see. And Drew Hill, there is a Virgo, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus. So somebody could have some very strong Virgo placements in their chart. Um, but the magician is able to manipulate the elements, so I do feel like someone is being manipulative in a situation. Hell, somebody could even be accusing you of manipulating a situation. I'm getting that also. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana. Again, that is the lovers. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Now I'm hearing a song really loud. I got this feeling and I just can't turn it loose that somebody's been getting next to you. Um, I can't turn it loose. And I can't, and it's stopping. And I can't, I, you see, I'm trying to hum it to remember, but it's stopping. And usually when it won't let me remember the other lyrics, it's because that's all. That's all. That's all they want us to talk about. That's all they're trying to give us a message. So that's on point what I'm picking up. Like, I got this feeling and I just can't turn it loose that somebody's been getting next to you. So someone could be accusing you of cheating. You could be accusing someone of cheating. I got this feeling and I just can't turn it loose. Yeah, this could be you in your head about it because you got the, the Four of Swords. And if you see of the Four of Swords, he has three over him. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Sorrow, Sadness, and Grief. You are Swords. There's your energy and they write me, wow, in your head a lot. Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, Anxieties, Worries, and Fears. And there's another woman there. She goes in her red. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, wow. And then you got the Five of Swords and there's two people right here. I'm telling you guys, I'm not trying to make up no nasty narrative. Not at all, because I don't claim this energy either. But it is what it is. And it's all Swords energy. One, two, three. Three Swords back to back, all associated with this, this energy surrounding you all. Now, I don't feel like this is necessarily a negative energy. I know it's not the best feeling energy. But here's the thing. I feel like whatever is happening behind the scenes, you're meant to find this out. So you could decide how you want to move moving forward. Because I feel like someone didn't even give you an option. Someone could be wanting to hear the horse or you could be hearing something straight out of the horse's mouth. You see how the flames are coming out of the mouth? Again, there definitely could be a fire sign involved. Four of swords, pull, uh, pull back, retreat, go within, take a break. For some of you guys, your ancestors are giving you messages in your dreams. You see how he's sleeping and he's resting there? But up under there, there's figures. There's one, two, three, four figures. And they have a sword. Swords are communication and mental. It's like they're going to be giving you messages in your dreams. This could be a spirit guide. Give you messages in your dreams saying, hey, you need to check this. Or, hey, you need to check that. Like, if you have a joint bank account with someone, this claim of Queen Air Bender ain't telling you to start no mess. I'm just telling you what I'm getting here. You got a spirit guide saying, check, check that joint bank account because something ain't adding up. Like, there could be some, you could even find some type of receipt somewhere or something like that. If you're dealing with someone, if you're completely single, Still, do some do some research, okay? Because source is, you know, mental, communication, research, data. Do some research. Start asking questions. Because if you notice right here, she's sleeping by herself. She It's like, why can't this person ever spend a night at my house? Why can't I ever spend a night at their house? Why why can't we be together until up to certain hours? I feel like information is going to come to you. I always talk about hidden knowledge, hidden wisdom, hidden clarity here, right? So I feel like somebody, I just heard Kevin. Somebody's name could be Kevin. Um, and then someone's last name could be Klein, also, but with a K. 
So I'm hearing that somebody is like, why is it that I can only see this person on certain days, certain times? They don't answer the phone at certain times. When they do respond, it takes a while to respond back. And if they do talk, there's very short-lived conversations. You may be realizing, like, okay, something is going on and I need to do some digging. I'm getting that too. And if you haven't been feeling like this, I do feel like something may come about. Something may, can't, may come to light. You see how you get that spark of light? Like, okay, something may come to light where you need to do that. Again, I'm going to say somebody may be accusing you of it. That doesn't have to be true, but I'm just telling you what I'm getting, okay? Seven of Pentacles not moving forward, not moving back. But again, some of you guys may be questioning, like, why does it seem like this relationship can't progress? Like, what, what's happening? I feel like the universe is about to drop down. You know, drop down is snitching. You got a pinnacle here. That's that's dime. So the universe is snitching on this person or you being snitched on if you're doing something. <laughs> I'm just telling you. You know, I, I'm anti-shade against my fellow Germanians, but I'm, I'm just putting it out here. We're going to keep it real on this channel. That's part of the deck. We have Star Card, Wish Fulfillment and Healing. What's the part? Um... Because what I'm hearing is the part where and Cisco was like screaming this with everything in him. He says, now if you truly love me, then this would not be happening. Sleeping in my bed, messing with my head. And that's what I'm getting with this. Now if you truly love me, like I'm hearing the way he was screaming that. It's like, I'm hoping and wishing that what I'm thinking isn't true. I don't want to believe it. I don't want this to be the case. Somebody, yeah. I don't want this to be no heavy reading, but I'm, I'm going to read what I pick up, but I, I don't want this to be the energy, but I, you know, somebody's going to discover something. There's that star again. We just had the star and now you had a star right there. So it could be dealing with Aquarius. Yep. I'm hearing that real loud. If you truly love me, then this wouldn't be happening. Sleeping in my bed. She's in a bed messing with my head. Hmm. And the head, swords, mental. So some of you guys are definitely in your head. Because not a sword, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. Somebody can be... I'm also getting... I'm going to have to keep it funky with you. Because, you know, Gemini's, we could be in our head a lot. Somebody is accusing someone of something without even having any actual proof either. So this can go a multitude of ways. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. And, and you guys seen I had this down, so I didn't see it. So some of you guys, you're anticipating, like, oh, this person is doing something shady. There's some cheating, third party, but it, it may not be. You need to talk to this person. Their, their communication is necessary. Communication is necessary here. Let's get a clarifier for the fourth. So, okay, well, damn. Okay. I'm taking it because it landed right on top of our card, right? So you got the eight of pentacles. For some of y'all, you may have met this at this person at their place of employment, or they may have met you at your place of employment. Also, this person be telling you, like, you know what, I've been picking up a lot of overtime, you know, but you're like, something ain't adding up. You see how the pentacles are adding up here, but it's like a pentacle that's on the ground. Like, okay, if you if you making more money, how come no money no extra money is coming to the house? You got the nine of swords in reverse. This also sounds like get out of your head because you could be assuming something that's not true for some of you all. For others, I'm feeling like there could be something going on and you're going to find out about it. Temperance card, Sagittarius. I did say there could definitely be a fire sign involved. Uh, Bright is allowing things to balance out, okay? Allowing the universe to orchestrate things in reverse. You, you may be losing your patience because it's stressing you out. But she's stressed. She can't even sleep. Do you see how she has her hands across her chest? Like, trying to protect their heart. Some of you guys are like, I'm not even going to wait for this person to break my heart. I'm leaving. I'm going to cut this person off. Let's get a clarify for the Nine of Swords. Clarify for the Nine of Swords for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay. Hmm. The World Card. Travel distance for a movement. You may want to hold off before you make decisions to leave a situation. You need to find out all the facts, Okay. You got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Aquarius is showing up pretty strong. You know, the world has traveled this is for a movement, leaving a situation, starting a new cycle, ending the cycle in reverse. And this is major arcana, so it's definitely, you may want to hold off. Even if this person is doing something, you may want to hold off until you know all the facts about something. Because it could be true that this person is doing something, but I, I feel like you don't know all the facts. Something, something is needing to be clarified. Yeah, you got your major arcana kind of right. That's perfect, actually. Because that means you're not tripping. Whatever you, that, I'm going to tell you right now, whatever you're feeling, you're not tripping. You're on point. I also want to put this out here. This new moon energy is very, very powerful for both Gemini and Sagittarius. This is a very big time for manifestation for us. Very big time. That's Again, that's why I'm not on camera because I'm, I'm walking around with my uh, family reunion t-shirt on, cleaning the house and home. I mean, literally cleaning the house and home so I can usher in and allow in that positive energy. 
Um, you guys know I do my meditations and my, my rituals as far as my manifesting and protection for my family and things like that. So that's a very big time for me to do this. It's an amazing time for Gemini individuals. So if I was you, I would definitely tap into that. Look on YouTube if you want to find out some suggestions about things that you should do. Or if you're not into stuff like that and you just want to do prayers and meditations and, you know, things like that, do that as well. Because this, this portal is bust wide open for us during this time to manifest things and say for instance if you have questions because you see how she's looking up at the angel like she wants she needs feedback i'm telling you the best time to do it because tomorrow is that new moon before you go to sleep tonight before you go to sleep tonight over and over again as you're laying down ask the universe whatever questions you have about this situation or about this person ask it something tells me you're going to get a you're going to either have a dream that's going to give you clarity about it by the time you wake up or be, sometime between i always say again three days before during the three days after within that three day window of the new moon something tells me you're going to get your answer you're going to get your answer you you're not wrong what you're feeling is not wrong it's just before you make the next move don't think rashly because we are a Mercury retrograde mercury is gemini's ruling planet so they're saying like don't don't just jump into something because this is like okay i'm out on to the next. They're saying, don't just jump into something very rashly. Sit down and meditate over it. Because it looks like she can also be meditating or praying on something, right? Sit down and meditate and pray on it first before you make some type of decision. Don't let your emotions guide you. Because it can cause a lot of disruptions in your everyday life. Let What you're feeling is on point because you're grounded. Your card is upright. When your major card is upright, you're grounded. You know what's up. But don't allow it to just, you know, throw you all off and have you all over the place making decisions that, you know, can affect you once, you know, retrograde, once things go direct, you don't want to do something like that. Really sit down and think about it, meditate on it. Definitely getting the first and the last initial of K-N-E-O-F-S-R-D. This is going to be for you or this person. For a lot of y'all, it's going to be you that has those initials. Our Denise and Dominic, or Dominique, Daniel and Donna. Okay, I heard that also. But yeah, so you want to meditate on that energy because what you're feeling is not wrong. So if you feel like it's something going on, it is something going on. But find out all the facts. Find out all the facts because that's very important. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's going to stop you from either backsliding and going back or allowing somebody to manipulate you emotionally. Because once you have all the facts, it's like, ain't nothing else this person could say. And it helps you make final decisions because whatever's going on now, it's, it's, it's going to be something final. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to allow you to make room, okay? The new moon energy is going to allow you to make room to have your world card upright so you can move on without any fears, without any baggage. Because if you know, she doesn't even have much on, which means she's not weighed down by baggage. Because people could be trying to accuse you, especially if there's children involved, you may feel guilty, like, oh, okay, I don't want to break up the family and things like that. Even if it is something where this person is cheating or doing something, find out all the truth, huh? <laughs> You know, collect all your receipts. So when you make the move that you move, can't nobody look you in your face and say you didn't try. Because for us, Geminis, we always like, I just want things to be fair. I want things to be right. We don't want people to feel like we're the ones that snatching the rugs from up on their feet or causing conflict and things like that. Because that's not necessarily our nature. I think Geminis get a really bad, bad rep for being the ones that's causing our drama. No, Geminis only cause drama. And I don't even feel like intentionally, and I'm not saying this biasly, but I'm saying seriously, the only time you see drama come from us is when we feel like you have played in our face or you've done some, some silly shit you ain't got no business doing. Because for the most, we're very go with the flow. We're air signs. We're very go with the flow with things. And we can flow in, in various areas, but when it comes to matters of the heart, we don't want to hurt people and we definitely don't condone people hurting us. So it's like before, and, and, and I'm telling you, think about this. Don't jump into it. That's why I'm telling you. It's also don't jump into it because Gemini's go from zero to a thousand. So you want to think over the situation and really balance things before you, you know, jump to something that's that's going to definitely have potential to blow up into something much, much bigger. So really meditate on it before you make a decision about your next move. Do some research. Do some research. Do some research. Start really paying attention to everything this person says and doesn't say. Look at the body language, all that good stuff. You know how you, when you're with someone for a while, you can tell if this person's lying. Just like if they won't look in your face or their body language and how they're moving and acting. You know when this person's lying. And for some of y'all, you've already seen signs like, okay, this person saying that they're at work all the time. All right, I'm going to drive past the job. I don't see your car. All right, let's drive past the house. <laughs> you know, some of one of those things. And I'm not telling you to do that. Disclaimer, because you too be, okay. I'm just telling you, some of you guys may feel inclined to do so. 
That's why I'm getting here, okay? So, Gemini, Summer Rising, Venus, and Individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.